Hello, teacher. Tell me what's my lesson. A school cannot be a bureaucratic factory that processes input into output. That's not allowed. Though a factory of this kind is great for brainlessly processing meat. Though, like with all black boxes, garbage in, garbage out. Feeding a school bad education will only produce bad results. Furthermore, though some politicians want it to be one under the banner of struggle, poverty is not a system. It is an unintentional error that is supported by an uneducated humanity. And even more than that, I will say that lack of effective education drags the world straight into war. Some of the smartest people I've met still believe that serving God and country is noble, still believe that to improve education, students must work harder. But the truth is, we are one family, and we may not send the children to war. And no amount of effort will make a person educated if the materials are just an educational fantasy. And just to drive the point further, you knowing by heart that mitochondria is a powerhouse of the cell is ridiculous, it's embarrassing, and it serves as an insult to all the younger generations, because that's all you know about it. The dream of school is a beautiful dream, but real education is always effective and always profound. It is not marked by a GPA or a diploma or some worthless career. That means nothing in the long run. Nothing. A real education is simply marked by your greatness. Your greatness of heart, of soul, of mind. Real education results in the students growing all the way up until they become great beings and make lasting, positive, and magnificent contributions to humankind. It's that simple. Under the threat of poverty and fake education, there are only four subjects that work today. The three beautiful originals and a new meta-subject that encompasses everything else. So it's really reading, writing, arithmetic, followed by the meta-subject that grants the students a tool to lift themselves out of poverty. And that subject is just computer programming. Here, Mitochondria does make sense. A student can simulate and study a cell and walk away from their computer program with pride and dignity and inspiration and above all great and integrated knowledge. But they must make their own choices in regards to areas of study and they will move in circles and grow sideways. Different things will call to them at a different time, but it all does come together. Because self-paced and self-directed education is a meaningful education. Here, subjects have no need for divisions. And there is a clear aim. Financial independence, an exit from poverty towards a safe and independent future. Stop using school as a babysitter for your kids. Organize real programming lectures 
that result in children learning how to create software. Compile a large and free open library of video lectures, presentations, narrated books, and online classes. Get all the parents together and create a startup accelerator to fund the waves of incoming projects. Stop propagating the stupid idea that only rare and special people are gifted or brilliant or can be geniuses and successful. Brilliance and genius and the underlying wisdom and knowledge is merely a simple function of real education. If you are an adult, no other job is more important than this, than keeping the future away from war and away from poverty. If you are a student, stop gambling with your future. Programming is just a way to create tools that will help you to get to wherever it is that you are going in life. It will keep you from getting scared or depressed. Programming is an endless trail of meaningful reward. And wherever you are headed, please remember that in the absence of teachers, you must become a teacher.